Do you want to learn how to curl your short hair with flat irons? If you're new to my channel and if you're not, welcome back, I'm Mike. I'm who? I'm a hairdresser, a L'Oreal colour specialist, a makeup fan and a skincare lover. Today's film is going to be a tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to curl your beautiful short hair, style it into a quiff with the use of straightening irons. So if you want to learn how to curl your hair correctly with flat irons, then you better keep on watching. What is the story everyone? As you can all see my hair is looking really really flat but we're gonna change that today. And do you know what you guys, probably one of my favourite techniques when it comes to curling hair is using a GHD or any flat irons because when I was training GHDs were big. Like if you didn't get a GHD that Christmas there was something wrong with you. Like GHD was everything like you used to blow dry hair straight and then you go over with the straighteners. There was no curling tongues. You were doing GHD curls on everyone. It was just the hit. So you guys, in today's film we're going to do my hair using GHD and this technique will work for any straightening iron but obviously I do use GHD so that's what I'm going to use today. So what we're going to do is we're going to quiff it up, we're going to lift up my hair, give a bit of body, bit of lift and this is brilliant for anyone that hair is long or short because this technique can be applied to any hairstyle. I tend to wear my hair up with a bit of lift so I mean you guys. What else can I say? Let's get right into it. First of all, we need to start by prepping the hair and obviously I need to comb it first. So I'm gonna comb it and we need to put some product into it. And for regular viewers of mine, this is not gonna be a surprise that today for prepping, I'm gonna be using Plea by Techniart. Following that, I'm gonna be using Rebel Push-Up by Techniart. And those are my two go-to products. So you guys, obviously, because my hair is so flat, let's just spray a bit of Plea into my dry hair and with the use of brush just make sure that the product is evenly spread and then I'm just going to apply a tiny bit of rebel push up just to give a bit more grit to the hair so that's about the amount I'm going to use I'm just going to work that into my hair and I'm going to grab a hair dryer and literally we're going to quickly just dry the product in Now, and this is looking so much better. And I actually forgot to say that I actually shampooed my hair this morning. And when you're actually curling and styling your hair, it's nearly better to do it when your hair is greasy or slightly filthy. Because I mean, when the hair is freshly washed, it is really soft. So if your hair is really, really straight, it's not gonna really hold the curl. And that's why I use Plea, because that nearly gives that grit to my hair that I need, do you know? Right, so now we're gonna use a bit of Constructor by Techniart, obviously that's a favorite of mine and just spray that into my hair. Today for styling I'm going to be using GHD Classic Styler. So this is your classic GHD and I tell you guys it's donkey's years old and I mean the classic styler you just can't fault it like they just don't break like they last few years. Now I know they're on the pricier side but I mean they just last forever. So we're going to wait for that to heat up. Now when it comes to doing GHD curls or anything like that it's all in the technique. It's all in your wrist and there's two different ways of doing it. But obviously, like when I'm gonna style my hair, it's all about giving the lift and bit of curl into it so my hair will sit back. My GHD is heated up and we're ready for styling. So when it comes to curling hair with GHD, you need to make sure that you close the iron and you twist the GHD 180 and then you pull it. You don't want to do a whole 360, now you could, but it's all to do with about 180 turn and then a pull. Now you can do it this way as well, so you turn it and pull it and you're gonna get more of a ringlet. Right, let me not confuse you anymore. Now just so you can see better, we're actually gonna start with a front section and that's just gonna, no, actually no, that's a bad idea. We're gonna start at the back and just start adding lift. So I'm literally just taking my section over here. Sorry, I'm just trying to look at the mirror, look at the monitor, looking at the camera. So this is my section over here. So all I'm doing is I'm grabbing my straightened irons I'm clamping it at the root and as you can see I'm literally twisting it 180 and I'm lifting it slowly up. The slower you're gonna go the tighter the curl is gonna be and that's very vital when you're using straightening irons. So just make sure the slower you're gonna go the tighter the curl is. So if your hair is straighter you want to go slower. If you want to lose a curl literally just twist it and pull through. Hmm, bet you didn't know that one did you? Oh there's me clip I was looking for. 
Right, so take the next section. I'm just gonna brush that through. And like that, clamping the hair at the root, and I'm literally just doing a 180, and I'm lifting it up, and I'm after marking my hair. Oops. As you can see, I'm getting a nice bend and a bit of body. But when you're looking at it, don't freak out because we need to brush it all out. Right, moving on, we're flying through it, guys. And I take the next section. If you're looking for more of a root lift, what you can do is actually clamp the hair and bring it more forward. So you're gonna bring it down, doing 180, and just pull the straightener up. And voila, look at that. Now, I know it's looking a bit mental, but trust me, once we brush it out, we gonna get there. And this is brilliant for anyone with a quiff, for anyone that's looking for a bit of body. You can literally adapt this to any hairstyle. Now, and with the front section, same as the other ones, you literally clamp the hair, you do a 180 with the irons, and you just lift it all up. And voila, and this is probably the result that you want. You want it to be nice and tight, and obviously the product does help a lot. Right, so let me just clip that away, and we're gonna move over to this side. So that's clipped off. So when it comes to this side actually, right, I'm gonna actually curl this side downwards because I usually wear my hair over to this side. So if I'm gonna curl it upwards, the curl is actually gonna kick out and this is gonna flick out. But if I'm gonna do it this way, this is actually gonna sit under. But when it comes to this side, I'm gonna curl that into my hair, if that makes sense. All right, so let me just take a section over here, and same as before, I'm gonna twist it and curl it. See that? Now, when it comes to taking your sections, you don't want to take sections any bigger than an inch, let's say, do you know? Because, I mean, they're not curling tongues, they're curling irons, so you still need to make sure that you have a fluid and smooth motion when you're curling the hair. Now, the big mistake is that people put too much hair and you literally can't pull the hair through it. That means you've too much hair in the straightening iron. All right, we're just gonna do one more section over here and see how quick and easy that is. I tend to do that a lot to my hair if I'm in a rush. Let's say like I wake up late, which, which never really happens, and I get into work and I'm like, I didn't blow dry my hair, what am I gonna do? Take DigiKHD, boom, 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 boom. Done, voila, massive. Right, so when it comes to this side, I'm actually gonna curl everything inwards so it can sit up. So that's the way I wear my hair. I wear my hair this way. So you always have to curl your hair the way you're gonna wear it. So I'm gonna add the lift here and not here because if I'm gonna add the lift here, it's gonna sit quite flat and it's not gonna sit over that side. So the curl is gonna go this way instead of going that way. All right, let me just brush that section. Make sure it's nice and clean. And like that, putting the iron in, we're doing a 180, and literally, we're just lifting it up. And that's it, like, my hair is curled. Obviously, we need to dress it out, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Now, for health and safety, do not forget to turn off your iron, and the amount of times I was like, I don't think I turn off my hair right now, and I'm going to work. As you can see, my hair is curled, so how are we gonna style it? Well, with the use of a brush. And this is actually an Ibiza brush CC7. It's actually quite nice for styling. I'm just gonna do is just brush all that out. And why am I brushing it out? Because I don't want big, tight curls in my hair. Look at that, my hair has never looked like that before. Now, isn't that lovely? Now, I don't even need to do much with that now. But what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna take a bit of density material and just stimulate my hair into the way I want it to sit. Can you say that to stimulate the hair? So like that, we're just putting a bit of density material, which is probably one of my favorite pastes. And literally, I'm just gonna run that through my hair and just mold the hair into the shape that I want to sit. I kinda want a bit of texture in it, but I don't want to look mental either, do you know? Now this is looking kind of cool. So I'm just gonna take, what's that? Six Fix from Techniart and just spray that in. 
and that's just gonna hold my hair. And voila, you guys, there we go. Let me just have a look at the monitor, and this is actually looking really cool. As you can see, I have loads of body, there's not too much curl. Now, if your hair is a bit longer, you're obviously gonna get more of a curl. Another way you could do it is, if you want more of a curl that sits down, you can take the irons and literally just twist it vertically instead of horizontally. So this way, you curl the hair horizontally, and this way is vertically. So if you want curls like, sit slightly on your face. If someone's curls sit on their face, then I mean, they're having a great time. Right, you guys, so that's it. Quick and easy. And that was my GHD curls tutorial for men. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching today's film. I hope you found this film rather interesting, helpful, and can you finish the last sentence? Useful. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Also, check out my other social media. And of course, you guys, please, 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 please take care. Bye.